always understood that there really was no difference between me and the audience. At times, I might have had better shoes, but at the core, the core of, of what really matters, that we are the same. And you know how I know that? Because all of us are seeking the same thing. You're here at this fabulous school, and we'll go out into the world and each pursue based upon what you believe your talents are, what your skills are, maybe your gifts are, but you're seeking the same thing. Everybody wants to fulfill the highest, truest expression of yourself as a human being. That's what you're looking for. The highest, truest expression of yourself as a human being. And because I understand that, I understand that if you're working in a bakery, and that's where you want to be, and that may be, the, that may be what you've always wanted to do, is to bake pies for people, or bake cakes for people, or to offer your gift, then, then that's, that's for you. And there's no difference between you and me, except that's, how, that's your platform, that's your show every day. So my understanding of that has allowed me to, you know, to, to, to reach everyone. And, and there's no way that you wouldn't, because that's, that's what I truly feel. The way through the challenge is to get still and ask yourself, what is the next right move? Not think about, oh, I got all of this. What is the next right move? And then from that space, make the next right move and the next right move. And not to be overwhelmed by it because you know your life is bigger than that moment. You know you're not defined by what somebody says is a failure for you because failure is just there to point you into If I leave you with nothing else, it's, just know this for sure. There is not one thing that has ever happened to you. Not one experience, not one encounter, not one crisis, not one joyful thing that hasn't happened just to make you better and help you rise. Every single thing you're calling in, whether you know it or not, when you figure out that you are calling it in, you actually start meditating or praying or doing or having a spiritual practice, which is the number one thing you need if you want to be successful in the world. You need something that gives back and nourishes you, regardless of what you call that. You need to, you need to fill your cup so that you can be so full, your cup runneth over and you have enough to give to other people. If you don't fill your cup, you end up dried up. You end up tired, exhausted, and don't have enough to give to other people. You end up resentful every time somebody asks you because your cup is empty and now they want some of yours. So your number one job, your number one job is to fill your cup and make yourself whole. So for me, the foundational base of empowerment, of entrepreneurship, of any kind of engagement, the foundational base of my success, of my well-being, my wholeness, my everything is knowing who I am and where I come from. In my living room right now is a painting that I've owned now for 30 years. You can Google it called to the highest bidder. And it's at the center of my house. And it's at the center of my house because it actually is symbolic of the foundation of not the house, but the foundation for my life. The painting is by Harry Roseland, who was a genre painter, painter in the uh, early 20th, late 19th century. And the painting is over six feet tall, and it, it shows a slave woman on the auction block holding her daughter's hand. And I cannot come in the door, my front door, or I cannot leave without passing that painting. I am reminded of where I come from every day of my life, and I am reminded because I never want to forget it. And in my library, I have a framed list of enslaved African-American people, remember I showed you, um, who were held in bondage on various plantations listed in the ledgers alongside the cows and the horses and the buggies and the other property. And I pass this list every day. 
And often I stop in front of it and just speak their names out loud and their ages. Jonas, 11 years old, $500. Sarah, 41 years old, $900. Elizabeth, 57 And I force myself to consider the absurdity and the obscenity of prices being affixed to each one should they be placed up for sale. And I sometimes just pause before them with a prayer, particularly before I have to make a big decision about one of my companies or whether I move forward or whether I stay still. It reminds me, speaking those names out loud, not only of where I've come from, but how far I have to go because of them. And it reminds me that I am never alone. It reminds me of what I've come through to get through. I say to the, my girls all of the time that your real work 